Stocks dipped ever so slightly on the day. The Dow finishing down 13 points, closing at 25,806. The S&P 500 down three to end at 27.89. And the Nasdaq down just a point, finishing at 7,576. Market analysis now from Jim Lowell. He's the chief investment officer at Advisor Investments and the editor of FidelityInvestor.com. He's in the newsroom. Hi, Jim. Hey, Brian. So no movement really at all on Wall Street today. What are investors looking at? <laughs> uh, it was a ho-hum day. We talked last night about how there's no major new negative nor positive catalyst to move the market. So investors are doing what I think they should do when they don't know what the right move to make is, namely sitting on their hands at least for a day or two, maybe for weeks. We did get some economic reports, a comment from, from a Fed voting member, but all that said and done, there was no new news to drive this market much higher or lower. All right, let's talk about what we did here. Home sales were reported and also the manufacturing and service sectors. What did we learn? So new home sales uh, down a little bit year over year, but had a fairly good month in December. What we know is that demand is still butting its head against high prices and uh, relatively high mortgage rates. But I think the housing market, as we noted last night, really has sort of determined a floor and a ceiling for itself. If it is likely to get a second wind, it will have to be driven, I think, by lower prices. In terms of manufacturing service sector sides of the economy, both very well. Employer is still a uh, chief concern, not trade war, but the abil their, their inability to find skilled labor. All right, you spoke about the, you know, they, they've been focused, investors have been focused on the Fed for a very long time now. Eric Rosengren, the uh, Boston Fed president, spoke today. Did he, I'm going to say he didn't have any surprises <laughs> since the markets didn't do anything. The only thing that was surprising <clears throat> in terms of his speech was that he has changed from being one of the most hawkish members of the Fed calling for interest rate hikes to basically abandoning that post and suggesting that patience really will be a virtue. So that suggests to me that the Fed really is seeing not just near-term cross currents, but potential challenges from slowing growth in Europe and with particular regard to China. So it was interesting to see him change his stripes, uh, especially given the fact that he really had been one of the biggest proponents of the Fed raising rates. All right, let's talk about GE. Not <laughs> good news from them today. No, CEO basically surprising the market by suggesting that they're going to have negative free cash flow for the remainder of this year. That is a sign of uh, near-term weakness, uh, and that just uh, rekindled concerns for long-term uh, strength or weakness regarding GE. What do we got coming up tomorrow? ADP's private sector jobs report it will be front and center. I think that will be what this market will key off of. All right, Jim Lowell, Advisor Investments, Newton, Massachusetts. Thanks as always, Jim. Thanks, Brian.